Hi, she was seven and back. Okay, so I know I've been MIA for a while, but I'm back. Okay, so today I want to tell y'all about not being so clingy. Okay, ladies, when you are in a relationship, when you are trying to get into a relationship, when you are dating, you do not need to be clingy. Okay, this is the first sign of insecurity. When a woman is too clingy, always wants to call you, text you, know where you are, wants to do stuff with you, even if you already have plans, tries to get you to break them, da, 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 da. this is called being too clingy, okay? And this is a red flag. This is a red flag for many things, okay? When a man knows that you're clingy, he knows that he can take advantage of you very easily because you are clingy, okay? He also knows that you're probably going to be able to do anything for him and he also knows that he's not going to be able to do what he wants to do by telling you the truth okay so this sets your relationship up already for lies and trickery okay so when you enter into a relationship or when you first start dating or you're in a relationship you don't need to be clingy you need to have something to do you need to have a hobby you need to have friends on your own that are not associated with him or his friends you need a night or you know an activity to do without him at least once or twice a week okay you need to not be all up under him all the time if there's you know don't always sit by him and cuddle with him sit on the next chair at let him ask you to come over okay oh why are you sitting way over there come over here if you're always on him you know he can't breathe he can he's gonna get tired of you faster he's gonna be like oh she's too clingy so always let him invite you to sit next to him like if you sit next to him don't sit so close just sit on the other side of the couch or just you know let him say well what are you doing way over there come over here don't don't get so close to him where he can't even ask you to get closer you know what i'm saying because at that point he's probably wishing you would move okay um and a lot of women make this mistake they are so in love so infatuated so in la la land that they forget that they're smothering someone okay so it is very important ladies i don't care if you don't have plans or not make plans do something by yourself go to the mall go walk around but do not try to smother this person or this man in the relationship because that's how it ends fast okay you, you can't just smother someone with all of this attention and expect them to stay interested you know for a long amount of time so and also, if you're one of those ladies that always have to know where your man is, what he's doing, who he's calling, da 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 that's understandable, but you don't need to let that be known. You know, if you're going to inquire about those things, do it in secret. Don't let him know that you're doing it. Don't ask him all the time where you are. Da -da 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 -da. Let him tell you. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell him where you are. Let him ask you, okay? Because a lot of times, these are red flags, you know? And a guy will not commit to a woman who's always questioning him. Where you been? What you doing? Da, 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 da. And I know a lot of women will say, oh, these are signs that she cares about you. That's true. But you don't want to give that away too fast. You don't want to let them know that you're so concerned with them that you have to know where they are every second of the day. You know? Um, and I'm going to tell you all something. Men and women are going to do what they're going to do anyway. So it doesn't matter if you're keeping tabs on them, know where they are, doing this, this, and that. They're going to find a way to do what they want to do anyway, if that's what they want to do. Okay? Um, usually, people that have more freedom, more flexibility, and not as smothered, are more eager to get back to their girlfriend or boyfriend or spouse. Okay? Because they don't feel smothered. They don't feel pressured. They're not going to get drilled at the door where you've been, who you've been with, you know, da 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 so they're more comfortable to come home they're more comfortable to be on time they're more comfortable to tell you things that you didn't ask and volunteer information and tell you about their day without fear of you getting jealous and saying well why didn't you tell me and why didn't you invite me you know so all this insecurity all this clinginess has to go out of the window if you want a successful relationship with a man okay 
Um, and ladies, I always suggest that you get a man who you look better than, who a man who will want to be with you more than you want to be with them. This is going to cut out a lot of the suspicion anyway, because you know, oh, he can't do no better than me, you know, and if he is, I can do way better than him. So it's not really something that you're overly concerned with. You know what I mean? So this is why I think, um, a lot of relationships fail is because there's too much control. Like once a woman feels like she has a relationship with this guy, or once a guy feels like they have a relationship with a woman, they start to put their claws in and it becomes too much for one. You know, a lot of people are free spirits. A lot of people don't like to be bound. You know, a lot of people just got out their parents' house and trying to be free. And now, you know, now they have a second mom and they can't, you know, like, their girlfriend telling them where they can go, when they can go, this is, and they don't want that. Especially young guys, they want to be free to explore, to do this, 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 and that. This is why I always say, if you're trying to commit, don't get a young guy. They're, they're just spreading their wings. You're not going to get some 22-year-old, 23-year-old, 24-year-old, 25-year-old, 26-year-old, 27-year-old, 28-year-old, 29, you're not going to get anybody in their 20s trying to get married, okay? So, job, ladies, forget that, okay? Let them have fun. If you want to get married, go for an older guy. Okay, if you ready to settle down, have your kids, move to the suburbs, go get you an older guy because these young guys, they're not ready to settle down. I don't care how much in love you are with them. There's always that freedom that that they crave and they're not going to rush to settle down with someone unless they're desperate and need a place to live. Okay, um, most guys do not mature as fast as women and want to settle down for families. They still want to go on adventures, have fun, see what else is out there, okay? They don't have this biological clock like women, so they're not in a rush to settle down. So putting that pressure on a younger person is just gonna push them away. You know, if you're uh, really serious and you're like, look, I'm 25, 26, 27, I'm trying to get married, go get you an older man, at least in uh, late 30s, early 40s they're ready okay they've already been there done that you know been to the clubs explored seen options have a good career by now da, 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 and they're they're ready to go ahead and settle down okay and plus their maturity level is probably going to be the same as yours because women do mature a lot faster as far as you know wanting to settle down get their life at a certain point da, 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 okay so this is like um very important you know if a lot of people that get married at this you know who are the same age or close to the same age you know it works out sometimes but sometimes it doesn't because you grow apart you want to do different things you know you one wasn't ready and you know there's too much um there's like a gap of you know maturity level one is more responsible than the other. So you have to take all that into consideration, okay? And the, being clingy, you know, makes makes people not want to even be with you, okay? Um, when they see you coming, they're like, oh, God. And then they'll start to push you away, and you'll feel like something is wrong or they're cheating or something. But really, they just need to breathe, okay? Um, a lot of women are just naturally, like, want to give affection and nurture and just hold someone and get a pet okay if you want to hold if you want to you feel this urge to squeeze and hug and kiss something go get a pet and <laughs> spare this person because I have seen this type of thing ruin so many relationships people are very uncomfortable with clingy people and I know I would be you know if unless I was just as in love and as infatuated and just you know the same type of personality this person was clingy to me and we were clingy to each other that doesn't last very long okay and after that feeling is gone you can't still be there and they don't feel that way you got to kind of back up give space make them wonder about you make them wonder what you're doing have them call you instead of you calling them all the time you know what i mean um Women get very obsessive when they get a partner because they, oh, this is the one, this is the one I'm going to marry you. They say this about everyone they meet, okay? 
And then a lot of times they're disappointed. They put too much effort into it. They put too much stock into it. They put too much planning into it. And then they mess it up. The man is supposed to chase you, ladies. You're not supposed to do any, you know, of this and still be seen as, you know, oh, this is the woman I want to marry. She's always over me, all over me. She's clinging. She asks me everywhere I go. No, that's not what they're going to say. They're going to say, dang, I need to get out of this relationship so I can be free. I feel like I'm back at my mom's house, you know. So, ladies, give your man space, okay? If they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat anyway. There ain't nothing you can do about it, okay? Nothing, okay? If you're going to cheat, you're going to cheat. There's nothing they can do about it. But... If they miss you, if they want to see you, if they ask where you are, if they say, come sit next to me, that means they want you and they're looking for you and they're asking you to become closer to them instead of pushing you away, okay? So it's better not to be too clingy in the beginning of a relationship as well as in the relationship. If you are codependent, you need to get a pet, you need to get a friend because this ruins more relationships than anyone. A lot of people, oh, I can't do this by myself. Oh, I need I need someone. I need to do it. No. If you're not happy and um, fulfilled within yourself, no one will ever make you happy. You will always be a, have a void in you, and you will always be looking for someone to fill it who can't. Only you can fill that void. And if you look for it by being clingy with someone else, you're just going to be pushed away even further, and your feelings are going to be hurt even worse. Okay, ladies? So, don't make this mistake. Get you some friends, get you a pit, get you a life. The man is supposed to be the added bonus to improve your life. Not someone you need to depend on for emotional support 24 hours a day and always be touching and know where they are. You know, that most parents don't even have that type of close relationship with their kids. And then you're going to put this on some man? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You need to be able to let go and trust even though you can't really ever trust anybody you need to at least give them the benefit of the doubt because they're gonna cheat anyway they're gonna find a way they will lie to you if they cheat if they don't cheat but what they value is their option and their freedom not to have to report back to someone or worry about coming home and getting cussed out because oh you didn't answer your phone that's crazy, okay? And let me tell you, I'm, I'm older. I've been in uh, relationships. I've been married forever. All that, where you been, what you doing, da, 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 don't work out. Don't even worry about it, you know? Let them ask you that when you walk through the door, okay? Flip the script. All right, I'll see y'all on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, subscribe. If you have any ideas for a video topic, put them in the comments. And see y'all later. Bye.